All right, we're back now, and this is the featherweight final. We have a match between, on the left, Isaac Duerdelin with the green and yellow belt up against the one and only Paolo Miao. Isaac loves to, he's one of the lightweight that plays better on top position. A lot of pressure, agile, training under Cobrian. Paulo Miao, as you all know, very active in the competitions. You know, and uh, one of the toughest guard on the planet. Isaac's really been, uh, in, in all of his matches, been very, very aggressive, really hungry, going after it, everything with a lot of aggression. i, I got to say, this is nice, because I've, I've known Isaac for a while on the competition circuit. We've seen him compete a lot. And, of course, you know, he's, he's well known as being very technical, very capable. But I, I don't know. I think something's changed a little in his attitude. He's really going after it now. He believes more himself. You know, I have seen him like improving since when he started fighting at ADCB all the time. And uh, man, really, really believe in himself. I'm, I'm sure that training for Brian and Kennedy, you know, all the time has been building his confidence, you know, and he's on the rise, you know, he's just getting better and better. And uh, soon gonna be his, his, his day to be today. Of course, Paolo Miao, one of the best featherweights in the world today, known as one of the, the best, the most consistent and competitive black belts. And now coming back just a few months ago from a, a two-year suspension, and we know that he is hungry. We know that he wants to go out there this year and he wants to compete in everything. He told us he's going to do everything he possibly can. He's going to compete in every major tournament. He's going to compete in the... Got to go for the Grand Slam series, which of course is the, uh, the four IBJJF majors. And we already knew him as one of the busiest black belts. But now that he's back, I think that he's got a lot of catching up to do and he's going to want to prove to everybody that he is champion material. Isaac's trying to set up that footlock that he surprised <laughs> in, the, in the first match, you know. But it's, I find this a little bit dangerous against the Miao because he's Miao is specialized on leg drags and that position is really dangerous. That's the danger of the leg drag there. You need to be careful. So that's what Miao needs to put the knee, right knee on the floor right now. Hide his foot. And uh, through my experience of seeing Miao playing, footlock is not a go-to thing to do, man. <laughs> We've <laughs> never seen any, either of the Miao brothers tap to a leg lock ever in their careers. It's incredible. They just simply refuse. Uh, they people say that they're made of rubber. I mean, they could well be, but... I think half of it also is the fact that they are just so uh, focused in their mission that, you know, you practically have to kill them if you want it to tap them out. Exactly, exactly. Or choke them. <laughs> or choke Go them to sleep. Out. Exactly, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. listen, now is a big problem that Isaac has in here. Uh, he spent a lot of energy on pushing him. Same situation that happens with Jessica, see on the leg drag. Yeah. So this is very... Uh, energy consuming for the bottom guy. See, he want to put, Mal, Paul want to put the right knee on the floor. That's when he kills everything. And there's a danger of taking the back and then come back to the game. Isaac want to put Miao's knee on top of him. That's the problem. A lot of energy consuming, getting tired. And Miao not waste energy because he's using the gravity and the, the reach to put pressure. And that knee doesn't want to come up anymore. Yeah, these, uh, th this position as well, it's, uh, it, it's, they call it like the unfair 50-50. They call it the unfair 50-50 because, you know, it's, uh, it starts off like the 50, but you pass the leg across the other side and 
and all of a sudden it's it's a terrible position to be in. It's Come a 90 10. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It goes from 50 50. Not anymore. This is a really strong passing position. If, yeah. If, if Miao can free his leg, I mean, he's pretty much past the guard. Yeah, here, right? no, that's really. I, I believe that this will cost the, the, the fight at some point because. Look. That's such a much energy consuming you know, to we, bring any up. We talked about this in some of the earlier matches, uh, Braulio, in, in that, you know, we, we used to see the meows that they would sweep and they would only try to go to the back. But now we see them come up. It's the pressure. And the, the pressure that they generate, even being lightweight guys, the pressure is incredible. Look, that collar control with your left hand, you know, also stops. Now he's recovering that leg drag, which is good. You know, this is really good. That's really good recovery from Isaac. But it costs him a lot of energy. And that's the problem. All right, now we're going to get a, uh, a restart in the center. And this will be a little bit more. Uh, you know, a restart. Do you understand what I'm saying? How, like, for example, there's such a big amount of energy wasted just because you gave the opportunity of the leg drag. Now it could be used for something else because you went to a foot lock with the foot crossing. We saw this with Jessica, you need to really be careful when you cross the foot uh, to the 50 feet without the, uh, the hook. Deep collar grip there with both hands from Isaac Dordlin. See the foot Great again. Great Barambolo attempt. Wow, knocks Paolo all the way down to the ground but couldn't quite spin underneath. Paolo now again with the forward pressure. Oh, now gonna look for that leg drag. So, so strong agile. in his grips as so well, agile. right? Look at that. We we know how technical and how uh, the dexterity that the Paulo has. Look at the but position. But you see the way that he just grabbed the uh, Isaac and just pushed him pushing. straight back down. They call a grip on the back, kills it. And there it is. Again, leg there's, drag there's the to pass. the back. That's gonna be three points. And it's very dangerous to get it back. Isaac needs to accept the pass, turn his back to the ground so he can survive that scenario because if you keep rolling two more points yeah so this is now eight points to two or sorry, is it seven points to two against Paolo Miao with a potential of taking it back yeah I mean if, if I was Isaac I would do anything to avoid turning to my knees I think I would much prefer to have Paolo on top in side control than so on my back 100 percent please you probably have it. Oh, but but look how Paolo is able to get that foot so up. flexible. And you, you know you're gonna try and pull Isaac back over on top of him. Yeah, he's using his foot like his hand, like monkey feet. <laughs> <laughs> Paolo just taking a little look over at the uh, the scoreboard. Actually being coached by. Brown belt Talison Suarez. Talison Suarez, a gold medalist here at the European Championships today in the brown belt division. And I think Isaac, this is a bad position to be, but I think he's doing everything right to defend right now. Yes, but he has to free the right elbow. Can you see the right elbow? That's what me I don't want to lose. That right elbow from Isaac is making him keep it turning away from my elbow, which he can give the back. See? If that elbow is down, he can save. So now Katagatani possibility to the back. Yeah. This oh, is there crazy. it goes. Yeah. That's a good way to... The oh, amazing escape by Isaac to Erdlin. That was great timing. Exactly. Meow went through soon. Meow opened up, tried to go for the arm triangle choke. When rolled for the back, Isaac just flicked that hook out and managed to shuck him off. And now back in the game. Two minutes remaining, seven points to four. Actually, it's seven points to two. We need to get a correction on that scoreboard. Let's go, Isaac. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Isaac putting some pressure here to the right. Me are more controlling this time, this stage, just like administrating the, the wing. It's a good gap, you know, like it's, it's a two on the seven twos, five points. That means Isaac needs to pass and then put the knee on the stomach to be able to draw and you still have to make an advantage. It's a critical situation out here for Isaac and he has 55 seconds to make that happen when Miao is completely wrapped around his uh, geese and on his best position, so. Great work by Isaac Duerdlin. Forward pressure. Oh, but this is dangerous. Miao is passing the lapel around. This is very dangerous. Warm guard with holding the foot of a dash, definitely trying to slow Isaac down. This is the dying seconds of the match here. Paulo Miao riding a five point lead. And wrapped around in a way that he cannot move. So, yeah. Tough scenario for Isaac, but what a fight. Absolutely locked down. Yeah, what a match. I mean, to be honest, I'm as impressed by Isaac's ability to escape from what that would have been great. game it, over it, for, for most, most people. people. Yeah. As I am with Paolo's pressure and his work rate and the fact that he has returned from two years away to become the 2019 IBJJF European Champion. Yeah. I mean, the, I think the crucial point was when Isaac went to try to the footlock and got the leg drag. On the control, and then that was made everything harder for him because just got downhill from the that pressure pass let's go to the collar and that moment control. where Isaac tried to sit up and Paolo just put him straight it back can't. down again yeah no move. very impressive pass the guard over there look at that controlling the elbow threatening the, the back then go to the near the stomach and then the mistake of Paolo did was insist on the arm triangle when he has a foot inside of the half guard that of course it, that would be slippery See yeah that? that was the moment that Isaac managed to just flick that hook Get out and shuck him off but still a very very solid performance very dominant Amazing. win there for paulo miel very impressive